Hey you guys, so this is the um, tutorial that I promised you guys a while back. Um, this is kind of like a sultry-ish smoky eye. I used the Naked palette. Um, here it is. If you guys don't know what it looks like, I'm sure you all know what it looks like. Um, but I used one, two, three, four, five of the colors. And I'm going to show you guys um, how I'm going to do it on this eye. So this is what the finished look looks like. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that well. Oh, my eyebrow's a little out of place and funny looking. Uh, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. And yeah, so let me get started on the other eye. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to zoom in or I'm going to do it anyways. Anyways, okay. So um, I'm going to first start out with priming my um, eyes with Soft Ochre Paint Pot um, by MAC. You can use anything. Um, I ran out of my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, it's basically gone, so that's why I've been using this. Um, this, I must say, isn't as good as um, Urban Decay um, Primer Potion just because um, the staying power with the Urban Decay Primer Potion is a lot better um, but anyways so um, usually the first thing I do is I take any like any blending brush oops I just dropped something uh, I'm gonna take my 224 by Mac and I'm actually gonna go into naked which is this color right here da, 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 da. let me focus so you guys can see so yeah it's this one right here it's just a very light brown color and I am going to stick that in my crease. I usually always start with a transition color. So I'm just going to go in with like windshield wiper motions. This is the first tutorial I'm talking through. I hope you guys like these better instead of just watching me do stuff without me explaining anything. Um, okay, so now that that's done, the next color I'm going to go in with is gunmetal, which is this really pretty like... I don't know, deep gray. I don't know how to describe colors. I suck at describing things, you guys. I'm sorry. And I am going to go in with a flat shader brush. This is a 239 by MAC. I'm going to stick gunmetal literally all over the lid, like just everywhere. Just pop it on just everywhere. Um, but uh, make sure to leave a little bit of space on the inner corner because we're going to stick... Um, a very strong kind of highlight color there. And I get a lot of compliments when I do um, this particular smoky eye just because it really makes my eyes pop. I don't know what it is that makes my eyes pop about it, but it just does. <laughs> Alright, so now because it's a little messy, I'm going to go in with a 217 if I can find it. Honey, where are you? Here. 217 so I'm just gonna blend that into naked I think it was naked yeah so la 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 blend 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 so it made the crease a little bit darker and then you can still see your transition color and then the next step is to take any pencil brushes it's 219 and I'm gonna take creep which is this just dark pigmented ridiculous black and I'm going to start to make kind of like a really exaggerated outer V. Um, I'm going to generally stick with where my eyebrow ends to the corner of my eye. So it's kind of just going to be a diagonal type of thing. So it's kind of like if you were doing win winged liner. It's okay if it's a little bit messy because we're going to blend it out anyways. But And then I usually just like look straight ahead just to make sure it looks okay. In terms of like the line and everything and then just bring in creep once you're done drawing that line bring it in and start to blend it into gunmetal so that becomes a little bit more dark and beautiful and then you're just gonna go back with a blending brush again I'm gonna take the yeah, I'm going to take this um, 234 and I'm going to start to blend this upwards just a little bit and into the crease as well. 
And you guys, I'm sorry about like, okay, I'm taking a little bit more creep. Sorry, I didn't mention that just now. But um, I'm sorry about not putting up my MAC brush video. I actually recorded it the other day. Not the other day, like yesterday. And I'm going back with Naked with a 224 again. And I'm going to blend that out again. But um, I recorded it the other day and it just looked retarded. Like, the lighting was bad and I looked like a hot mess. Not even a hot mess, just like a nasty, just a straight up nasty mess. And so I was like, I'm not putting this on the internet. I look like ridiculously ugly right now. So I didn't put it up, but I will, I promise. So you should have something like that. It's a little hard to see because the lighting is like blowing my face out right now. But, um, so we're just going to go back with Creep again, and we're going to stick that, we're going to kind of connect the line, the line thingy that you made, um, from the outer V, just going straight down and connecting it to the lower lash line, and just bring that in to where it hits about your pupil. And then I'm going in with a 226 and I'm just going to blend that out just a little bit just so that it's not as harsh. And then, oh my gosh, look at how much darker this side looks. So, um, it doesn't, that's so weird. It's, it's like the same in person, but I'm just going to go in and try and make it darker anyways. So I'm sticking in a little bit more creep just to make it a bit darker. This is great for like going out like clubbing, if you have a hot date with your boyfriend, you know, something like that. It's always nice to look sexy sometimes. I wear smoky eyes during the daytime. I don't care. Like if you guys look at me funny because I'm wearing smoky eye during the daytime, Sorry, deal with it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go in with Sen, which is this really pretty shimmery like champagne color. This is a 242, and it's just a flat shader brush. I'm just gonna take this, kind of like pack it on, and this is the fun part. This is where we get the really exaggerated kind of highlight on the inner corner. I'm gonna stick that where I left some opening, like the space that I told you guys to leave where, um, you know, where the tear duct is, where right next to gunmetal. I'm just going to stick that there and then drag it underneath my lash line and just kind of connect it with the dark, the creep color. And then pack it, pack it, pack it. And then I'm just going to take a 222 and I'm going to blend that slightly in with gunmetal. Okay. And then lastly, for highlight, I'm just going to go in with the, t actually, let me go in with this one. Um, the 227, 227. I'm going to take Virgin. Virgin. Like a virgin. Anyways. Um, and I'm going to stick this underneath my brow bone. Underneath my brow bone. I mean, on top of my brow bone. Just as a highlight. And then I'm going to lastly go in with Buck. Buck, 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 which is like the darker version of Naked and a 224 again. So that color right there. And I'm going to stick this on top of just kind of as a transition color between um, the highlight and um, the entire lid. Um, and then lastly, I'm just going to build up creep a little bit more. Just a tiny, tiny bit more. So I'm going in with the same pencil brush. I'm going to go in and build it up a little bit more. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so that's the finished, um, like, eyeshadow kind of look. So I'm going to go in with Smolder, my baby Smolder. My baby smolder, and I'm gonna take it and line tight line and um, line your waterline, and then just tight line as well. This makes tight lining makes the biggest difference. Like you wouldn't know that it would, but it actually really does.
and then just run it through. And then after you're done with that, you're going to take the pencil liner again and you're just going to roughly line. It doesn't have to be super even, but try and keep it even. It's not a big deal if you don't. But just take it and just line roughly your upper lash line. And then you're going to go in with a angled eye brush. That's not an angled eye brush. Just kidding! And, well, let's find it first. Um, this is the 220, uh, 266. So I'm going to take Creep again. Creep, creep. And I'm going to go over where I put that liner and just kind of smudge it into the entire eye look. If that makes any sense at all. Now you guys can wing out the liner if you want. It really doesn't matter. I'm not going to just because I don't feel like it. But lastly, you want to apply mascara. <laughs> this is the Hot Naughty Lash by MAC. It's my absolute favorite. Just P.S. If you guys want to go out and try it, it's awesome. It's awesome, awesome. It's like my favorite thing in the world. So mascara, you guys can apply uh, false lashes if you want to, false lashes, false lashes, I don't want to just because I never do, um, but if you're going out definitely do it if you, I mean if you want, I'm not forcing you to or anything, but it'll look really good, especially in pictures. And then of course the bottom, okay so we're done with the eyes. So this kind of looks like a bombshell kind of look. I guess that's what I'm going to name it. So kind of like a bombshell. Um, anyway, so that's it with the eyes. So that's what it should look like. You can see it pops, kind of makes my eyes pop, even though the lighting is like right in front of me. But it does in, in real life too. So let me go in with um, cheeks. So with cheeks, I'm going to use this blush. It's called Equilibrium. It's from the Mac Me Over um, collection. I'm going to go in with a 129. And I'm just going to uh, pop this on my cheeks. I wish you guys could see it. It's the most gorgeous thing ever. I use this every day for school. Um, just because it's soft enough to look like a bronzer. But it's it has a little bit of pink. It's like a pinkish brown. So it looks like a bronzer, but it looks like a blush at the same time. It's like the weirdest, amazing combination in the entire world. So I suggest if you guys, you know, want a nice blush for every day, Equilibrium is the way to go. Anyways, so that's, I'm not going to do any bronze or anything like that because I feel like everything else is dramatic enough. But I'm going to go in with lips. With lips, I'm going to use Blankety Lipstick by MAC. Just pop it on. <laughs> I love this. Um, I just recently got it. It's like my new favorite. Um, and then I'm going to put partial to pink on top of that, which is a cream sheen glass. And though this is not my natural hair, my natural hair does not look this perfect. Um, this is actually like a messy curly thing. I was experimenting with my curler today and I kind of this is what my hair looks like. <laughs> um, I have a MAC Cosmetics interview tomorrow, so I was like, let me style my hair. Um, I wash my hair every other day, so it wasn't a big deal for me to style it tonight. I'm just going to hairspray it and see what happens in the morning if I have to touch it up or whatever. But I'm really excited! Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it, because I do. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, if you guys have any requests or anything like that, let me know. Um, but yeah, so this is basically it. And I will, t here are my MAC brushes by the way. These are the ones I want to show you. These are the ones, um, that I've collected over the past, like, month or so. But, um, yeah, so, oh, let me go over what I put on my face. Um, on my face I have the Skin Visage thing that I used in my um, 
which I'm call it my update foundation routine. I actually use the Pro Longwear foundation in um, NC30 in this time. And then I have the Max Select cover up in NC30 again. And then um, Prep and Prime setting powder. So that's it. Um, and then of course Equilibrium breath, blush, broth, broth. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope you guys like this. Um, it's definitely a really dramatic kind of eye look. I think I'm just gonna call it like a bombshell smoky eye. I don't know. I think I like the word bombshell, so I'm just gonna name it bombshell. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see a hair tutorial, let me know. I've never done a hair tutorial, so it's gonna be a little like. I don't know, scary for me, like intimidating for me to do that, but um, I burned my finger. But anyways, yeah. So um, if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. But that's basically it. That was a tutorial using the Naked palette. You guys can substitute any colors that you have that are similar, but seriously, one of my favorite colors ever by Urban Decay is Sin. I've never found anything so pigmented like this. Um, it's just so shimmery and perfect. So, um, if you guys are kind of, you know, I don't know, iffy about it, I definitely recommend just getting Sin on its own. Um, just because it's like, I've never seen anything like it, honestly. Um, if you guys have, let me know. But anyways, I'm rambling too much. I will talk to you guys later, and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.